Do not follow my instructions. I don't know what I'm doing. You love me. <laughs> So it rained the other day and I found several leaks that I thought were sealed up last year when uh, we went around and did a lot of caulking on the edges and everything, but there was still several more. There was one um, back there in that corner. There was one right over here, which was coming from down there. And then another one up here as well. So I went around and I recocked all those areas and I found a couple little pinholes and things like that. So very well may have gotten into those areas, which I'm sure it did because water creeps into every little nook and cranny and crevice. So um, what I guess I'm going to do at this point is try to get all these wires looking halfway decent. I told you guys already that I took my ozone machine and I ran it in here a couple nights ago because there's some spots that have some questionable mold up there and so I ran that and then now I'm putting kills paint on it and then I was going to put some sort of you know wood slats or something up there but you know I'm kind of liking the way the texture the, the, the white paint looks over top of the uh, fiberglass texture, it's kind of cool. So now I'm debating on maybe I just might paint it white and leave it and not do anything. It would be so much easier, save me so much money. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. You know what, why don't I just show you and then you guys tell me if you like it or not. I don't know, I kind of like the way that looks. You can see all the fibers popping out. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to... Hi. So, with this side underneath here, if you go back and watch some of my previous videos, um, I may or may not have spoke about when we put in this wall here and had to replace this wall, it is because a lot of it was rotted out. And it was rotted out because it is exposed underneath the wheel well. So all the water that would splash up from the tire up onto the wood would cause it to rot. So. We replaced the wood and I found this stuff here, um, surface protection uh, undercoating for cars and um, resist rust, protective and paintable. It's a rubberized surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna spray everything with this to protect it and put a coating on it so it'll be waterproof and won't rot again. A little wobbly this morning. So see, this is all the... Oh. The bottom of the, the wall inside there. So I'm going to spray all of that with this 
stuff and hopefully that will protect it. I already did that side over there. Whew, holy crap. There was quite a bit of exposed areas underneath there. So I'm really glad I got underneath there. I went around the whole bus and sprayed all along the edges and I used the whole can. So I feel a lot better that that is done. Now I feel that it is 95 to 99% um, waterproof and sealed from underneath. I'm still working on the leaks that are on the roof. I think I've taken care of this one, that one, and this one, but there's still one directly coming from on top of the roof itself instead of from the windows. And it's coming from, it's like dripping from right behind this piece of wood right here, which is right along this seam that we had sealed with fiberglass, God, last year sometime. So there's gotta be one little tiny spot that this water is still getting into. And I don't really get on the roof, not by myself anyways. What I wanna do is, where did it go? Is spray the top of this completely instead of just kind of covering up the little marks that I already I had already covered up. Um, uh, I got crap in my eye. Um, I wanted to take my shoes off and I wanted to take this paint sprayer that I've been talking about in previous videos um, and paint and zoom the whole roof, ceiling, whatever you want to call it, and get it all done in five minutes instead of an hour. And this thing is so cool. I haven't used it yet. I was going to paint the tiny house with it and I still am. Um, so it was at my mom's house for the longest time and I just haven't had time to, to finish doing that project, but I will here soon. So um, I had her bring it over to me the other day when we went away on our little road trip that we did, which by the way, you should go watch that. It's pretty funny. Um, we went to a rustic cabin in Odessa, Florida, and uh, we had quite the journey to say the least, but, um, but yeah, so anyway, she brought that bag with her and I want to spray the ceiling, but I don't think I'm quite ready to do that yet, unless I just go ham and spray all over everything, and I don't think that's a good idea. Hi, and good morning. Now, I'm gonna kind of reassess this whole situation with this whole paint sprayer. By the way, this is by a company called Paint Zoom. And this isn't like, you know, your big old bulky paint sprayer thing that you have to lug around with the air compressor and everything. Everything is all right inside this little handy dandy compartment here. And yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to try it out. It, it's tiny like me and my adventures. Okay, so it comes with this handy dandy manual instruction here that I'm only gonna read probably about 2% of and uh, hope that I everything comes out okay. And I'm already deterred from wanting to read it anymore because it got to the part where it just says, like, you need to thin out the paint, but who wants to do all that? I just wanna pour the paint in and spray. But it says, Paint is thin by adding the substance upon which the paint is based. If it's water-based, then, then water is added. I don't know, I'm using this kill stuff here with this with this rusty, crusty top that I got for free from the recycle place because that's where I get all my stuff because why not? And it says works with al al alkyde, oil, and water-based top coats. So does that mean it's water-based and I can add water to it? I don't know. We'll see. It also came with these filter things here too, but I'm just gonna toss them to the side. All right, so I went and I got me a, a cup of this wretched contaminated water here, and if this don't thin out the paint, then I don't know what will. All right, so here we go. We got the little canister here that we put the paint in, and I'm not sure if I do the paint first or the water first. We're just gonna do the paint first, and we're just gonna go at it. I don't even know that looks like a good, good amount right there. 
And uh, what is this? this? Oh, where's my little cup? This thing. I think I'm supposed to do, uh, I don't know. Do not follow my instructions. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh dear, I think I'm using too much. I don't know. <laughs> so this long ass stick here is all I can find to stir. It. So this should get her done. Hopefully it's out. Make it too dirty. So I don't know. Uh, wow, this is wow. Okay, I don't know if this is water based. Yep, it's just it's just mixing like oil and water. It's just clumping up. It's not stirring, it's not mixing. Oh boy, I think I fucked this. Maybe I need a better stir stick. Oh yeah, no, this is, yeah, no, no. This is, this is definitely oil based. I need paint thinner. Let me show you. See that? Yep, that's separating like I can Tina Turner. I don't have any mineral spirits. And I don't have any water based white paint. Maybe if I just put the lid on it and shake it up really good, it'll it'll force it to to mix together. You know, like one of those bad relationships. You see that it ain't working, but you, you try. You mix it up anyways and make it work. Oh yeah. You love me. See how long this lasts me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like perfect. Okay, I don't need to lit anymore. I need to put her in here. Give her a good twist. Now I'm imagining you want to make sure this is on correctly and nice and tight so we don't have any leaks anywhere. Okay, that seems good. Now I'm gonna go get my uh my jackery and I'm gonna plug it into my jackery and we're gonna spray away. All right, so we got my jackery right here. Can you see that? It was still in the frame. All right, and we can go right ahead and plug her in. I need an extension cord because this is this is too short. All right, let me get let me get it together here first. Got my extension cord. All right, so we're gonna turn this bad boy on right there. Give it a little plug in. Curious to see how many watts this thing's pulls. Okay, I probably should be doing some paint prepping here and covering things up, but you know, nobody has time for that. I'll just suffer the consequences later. Wrap up for safety here. Oh. All right. I think we're ready. I should probably close the door here so I don't get spray, get over spray on my truck. Okay, here we go. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Okay, turn it on. Little button. Oh, I should get you in a better spot. Nah, that's the best spot. Let me back up. I'm scared. <laughs> these ladies are working out as they walk by and these other people on golf cart are, are giving them a hard time. All right, anyways, back to the task at hand. Don't clump up on me again. Okay, turn it on, Jessica, just turn it on. Oh, oh dear, why did it stop? Does it, does it, don't spray on me. Maybe it just comes on when you press the button? No, 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 well. I think it's pulling too many watts from a jackery. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to plug it into a, a regular outlet. Hold on. Okay. 
forgot to turn the power button off before I plugged her in. Okay, so good thing it doesn't automatically spray. All right. Now that we got power, <laughs> let's try this again. Close the door. Thank you. 